So the moment is finally upon us. I'm gonna give you guys the official review of the new Enlightened flavors. And before we begin, I wanna thank Enlightened for sending me these flavors. And I'm super excited to try each one of these and give you guys my unbiased review. And before we even begin, I support Enlightened. Enlightened sends me ice cream all the time. I love the people behind the brand. And I'm gonna say that straight up. And they know that I'm gonna give an unbiased review because that's what this brand is built upon. So know that I'm gonna give the best review I possibly can and it's not biased whatsoever. So I'm very, very excited to get this started. So let's do it. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is the French toast. So this one is 280 calories per. It's 1.5 fat, 17 carb, six protein. And so remember with these pints, you can subtract uh, half the amount of calories from fiber and all the calories from erythritol. So that's why the calories and the macros don't necessarily match up. Because erythritol has 0.4 calories per gram, if you guys didn't know that. All right, let's try the French toast. And so when I'm reviewing these, I'm looking for does the flavor match what's promised on the label? And is it a damn good ice cream? So when I'm thinking French toast, I'm thinking does this ice cream make me feel like I'm having French toast smothered in syrup and it's just heaven. Like that is what I am gauging it off of. But 10 out of 10 is gonna be very, very rare for me. But I'm opening this one right now and as you guys can see, swirls on top of swirls on top of swirls. So this is gonna be good. So you can see right here, look at that little swirl right there. I'm gonna get in there, take a bite. That's what we're looking at. All right. That's, that's really good, guys. Like, that's really, so this reminds me of, you guys remember the cereal French Toast Crunch? It had that same flavor to it. So what I'm gonna do is take a bite without any of the swirl and see, oosh. See, now I'm gonna take a bite without any of the swirl. Let me see if I get that same flavor. It's really good, guys. That's a really good flavor. This is arguably one of my favorite flavors. So far, I would give this, I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. This is really good. I mean, 10 out of 10 just blows my mind, but an eight out of 10, this is really good. If this was a 240 calorie pint, this would go up to probably a nine, at least a nine. So, and, and my reviews are gonna be based on the actual calories too, because we're talking about macros. So, if I can have one that tastes just as good for 60 calories per serving instead of 70, it would take it up even more. All right, second one is going to be the movie night. This is such an interesting flavor. I am, I'm fascinated by this. So if I look on the back, it says buttery popcorn ice cream with chocolate bits and swirls of caramel. So the macros for this one are two and a half fat, 18 carb, seven protein, 90 calories per serving. All right, so we are met with swirls. That's supposed to be swirls of caramel. Let's see if they have chocolate bits in here. Okay, so you can see the chocolate bits in there too. So we take that out. Whoa, see that? The caramel swirls, chocolate bits. You can see the, the swirl goes deep. All right, so here we go. That's, that is um, an interesting, so it reminds me of like the butter pecan flavor that they had, but it has the chocolate bits now and the caramel swirl. That's really good guys. And I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 because it's 90 calories per serving. If it was a 70 calorie per serving, this would, this would be close to a nine or a nine and a half. This flavor's unique and it's 
really good and I highly recommend that you guys definitely try it. It's super rich. It's really good. So the next one is cookies and cream. So this one's supposed to be vanilla ice cream with chocolate chip sandwich cookie pieces. Oh, they did this one good. What I was thinking, well, I didn't think it was gonna look like this. That looks like cookies and cream ice cream. So this is an 80 calorie per serving one, so it's right in the middle of our last two. So we're gonna take out a bite. Whoa. Let's see. It's gonna be a good one. Whoa. Look on the inside. That looks legit. Alright, so here we go. I mean, gosh, they're doing really well so far. So, my favorite cookies and cream ice cream of all time is the one from Publix. It's like my favorite. And this, obviously you can't it, it think it's gonna it be so rich like that one, but this is very close, guys. This is really good. So, you get like a, I'm gonna try one bite. Okay, so it's it's cookies and cream. It's not like overwhelming like I just ate an Oreo, but it's like that's cookies and cream. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of ten, um, and it would have given it would at least gotten an eight. It, I think if this one was a seventy calorie one, this would definitely be a, a lot higher up for me. I believe that the eighty calorie should have a little bit more of a cookies and cream flavor. I'm telling you guys, it still does but it's not like overwhelming. Like this one had an overwhelming French toast flavor. This one has a subtle cookies and cream flavor. All right, so now we move on to the glazed donut. I'm very fascinated by this one. I love me some glazed donuts. Oh, oh. what? Look at this thing. Yo. That's that's beautiful. So we're gonna get in there. Yo, look at that. Dang, dog, look at the what? Man. Dang. I nailed this one. This is good. So this reminds me a lot of their birthday cake one, but it has a hot, a subtle taste of a glazed donut, and then has the sprinkles and that chocolate swirl. It's like a chocolate frosted donut. That's legit. I cannot take more and more. I gotta take another bite. Whoa! Dang! Look at the swirls. Only thing, it reminds me a lot of the birthday cake one with chocolate swirls. I think a little bit more of a hint of a glazed donut would take it over the top and make this in the nines. But I like it nonetheless. It's really, really good. So I'll give this, I'm gonna give this an eight. eight I would say an eight out of 10. I still think French toast was my favorite based on the macros and the actual taste. But this is, this is really good. All right, last but not least, we have the s'mores. Interesting. Whoa. So, this one promises toasted marshmallow ice cream with graham crackers and swirls of chocolate. Toasted marshmallow ice cream. Oh man, whoa. All right, so. That's the bite. What you look in here though? Look like deep down in that crevice. Can you see that down there? 
You see that little down there? Whew. Whoa. You can definitely taste the graham cracker. The marshmallow is an interesting, wow, the yeah, like once you really like, that tastes really good. So initially when I first took a bite, I'm gonna take another one in a second, it tasted like coconut, but I don't know why. Let me try it one more time. Wow, that's good. So like the second bite, I got a lot more, so it really, really, Tastes like a tastes like a s'mores. You can really taste the graham cracker, which is really hard. The marshmallow flavor is interesting to me. I can definitely taste the graham cracker and the chocolate. Marshmallow, it's kind of hard for me to find. I get like a mix of coconut and marshmallow. Nonetheless, it's really freaking good. Only thing is, it's 100 calories per serving. The whole pint's 400. So this could be like over the top, like a really, really good one. If this was like a 60, 70 calorie one, this would be a lot higher. You guys, this is macro friendly ice cream. And that's what it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 because it's 400 calories a pint and it's really good, but it's not like, I think French toast was my favorite so far and the macros are the best on that one as well. All right, so that'll wrap up my review and thank you Enlighten. These flavors are all really, really good. They're all unique. They have a very, you get what you, you came for. So if you want a French toast, if you want a movie night, cookies and cream, uh, glazed donut and s'mores, you're getting that. You're getting that end product and it's macro friendly. So. Yeah, that's the review. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you've tried these, which flavor you want to try first, uh, which one sounds absolutely crazy and uh, you're excited, and actually which one, what flavor do you want Enlightened to create next? Because they are looking at this and they're gonna take this into account. So please give the video a thumbs up because that helps the channel grow and that helps us uh, be able to provide more value to you guys. And lastly, please subscribe. We have so much more cool content coming. And uh, as always, Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, and we'll see you guys in the next video.